Hey guys, welcome back to a new vlog. I'm just in the process of filming the video that you would have seen on Wednesday, so I thought it was a good time to do my little intro clip and say hi, and then I hope you had an amazing week and a great weekend. Um, this week, I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna get up to, but um, obviously I got up to this video. I've got some deliveries and other things going on in the background, so I can't wait to take you along with me on my week. I thought it'd be funny to show you the setup that I've got going on for the video right now. So I want a natural daylight because that really helps my camera, which is an iPhone, pick up everything that's going on. I've got my coffee table, I've got a step stool, and I had the phone mounted on a tripod on the top step so that I could sit with this as my backdrop. It's also a beautiful snowy day. That's why it just looks like bright whiteness because everything's covered in snow and I was paranoid that that whole video was going to be my neighbors shoveling their sidewalks which I need to go out and do but my hair looks so good so I'm a little bit sad about that but Chris is at work so home ownership times for sure um I just put the living room back together after that video, but I want to show you that my other little ottoman came. So let me quickly show you that. So it's just placed there for now, but um, I think that might actually be quite useful for when we do have our sectional to just have those two little stools there um, maybe pushed in a little bit. And then eventually we will have another chair. I'm thinking that I might put that upstairs in our bedroom now because of lockdown, I can't return it, but um, I did want a chair in there, so I think it might look cute. I just, what's the point in rushing until I find something to actually go here? But I think what I'm wanting to do is have a not as deep chair and then put some pieces of art there just until we do something with built-ins or the fireplace. Also, if this isn't the perfect example of like, 20, 2020 and I guess 2021 lockdown outfit. I've got a cute sweater on because only my upper half was in that video and then I've got leggings on because I need to be comfortable. I also thought I would let you know another thing that inspired the built-ins video. I did say that um, it was the internship in the videos, but also after I did that, I was talking to my dad and showing him a mantle that I really liked because I'm hoping that he will help me build the mantle because I don't like the wood, but I don't want to paint it white. So he said that I, when I sent him a photo, he said that I would need to have very detailed drawings. So I thought I can do this because I had just signed up for internships. So I was like, perfect. So I started designing the mantle and I figured out how to screen record on my computer because for design, you do a lot of heavy software stuff. I have a PC that is a gaming laptop. So I do have an Apple MacBook. It's very old, which I do my editing on, um, but my laptop is PC and it's a gaming laptop. So it has screen recording functions. If you hit Windows G, it should pop up and then you'll know if you have it or not. But so I decided I would do the mantle. I screen recorded it all and then I was like, okay, let's keep going. So then I started to measure all of the stuff so that I could do it properly. One little tip that I will give you that I found extremely helpful when working on projects for myself as well as other people is keeping a notebook. I don't know if anyone else always gets little blank notebooks in their Christmas stocking or as little additions to gifts, but I find this extremely helpful. So what I do is I just keep all of my house stuff in there. So I have a page dedicated to my fireplace. So I have all of the measurements. So if I ever write something down and I'm like, oh, I need to go back and look at that, I don't have to scramble for a little scrap of paper because it's all in my book. So I think that that is amazing. And then also you can keep a house file and keep this in there. So if you're done all of your renovations, you can look back in the future and you've got your handy dandy little notebook. I'm just watching Sex in the City and making the cafe curtains for the upstairs bathroom. So remember I bought this rod and then I just put some curtains on for the time being to see if we liked it. And we do really enjoy the light. So I bought 
some little tiny rings. These fit perfectly on this rod if you slide off the tension end. Um, and then I also bought some curtains. I'm gonna have to hem them and I'm also going to pleat them, but they weren't that expensive and I just think that they're a bit thicker than those ones so I don't have to worry that they're see-through and they have more of like a linen texture so I think that they'll look nicer. So I'm just going to try to pleat these myself. I don't think it should be too hard and then I'll have to hem them, but I'm just going to use some pins and try to measure out where the pleats go and then from there I'll hand stitch them and somehow attach these. I couldn't find any little rings that didn't have the clips. I would have preferred just the little eyelet, but um, the reason I couldn't use bigger hoops is because look at how tiny this is. I think it just would have looked ridiculous if I used a regular size and this is perfect. So that's what I'm going to do and that's what I'm working on right now. Not super exciting, but thought I would share. So I added some interfacing onto the upper part of the curtain. I just ironed it on and it's helping to keep the pleats a little stiffer. So I've got it in place. I think it looks a lot better. I just need to hem the bottom. So I put it up and brought some pins so I can just pin the bottom. And I'm pretty happy with it because I think it looks quite a bit better than the other curtain that was in here. So here are the finished curtains. I think that they look pretty good considering it was just a cheap little DIY. Got my candle back up on the windowsill. My friend bought me this for Christmas, which was so kind. So the company's called Candle and it is a Canadian, even Toronto, I think, based candle company. It smells so good. Obviously I won't burn it there, but I think it looks nice because it's the only ledge I have close to the bathtub right now. Also, one thing that I was bothered by when I was doing this is the black because everything in our bathroom is chrome. But when I was doing a little bit of research on Pinterest and on Amazon, doesn't seem like there's an option for that. It's either gold or black. So I went for the black. Also, I just wanted to talk about functionality. So I did think about putting Roman blinds there, you know, the kind that fold down but that just doesn't function for us. I know we would never open it. It would be closed the whole time and it would defeat the whole purpose of being able to have some daylight in here. So I think it's one of those times where you think about how design functions for you. And I know we will never touch those curtains. They will always be like that. Opening and closing would not be an option. Plus it's a bathroom, so if you had to come up to the bathroom in the middle of the day, you would then have to close the blinds. So I think this just functions a lot better for us and lets in so much light, which ultimately brightens up this dark hallway as well. I'm to try making Spanish tortilla, which this is a long time ago, so I don't expect any of you to follow me back then, but um, five or so years ago, Chris and I walked the Camino de Santiago pilgrimage in Spain and pretty much every day we ate Spanish tortilla which is kind of like an omelet but it's got thin layers of potato and onion so I thought I would try and make it but now while it's cooking I'm going to make some cinnamon sugar blondies so I will show you how that turns out um, and both of these recipes I'll link in the description box in case either of them sound interesting I've got on my little um the cross apron on because I had to cook the potatoes and it was splashing me, so saving my sweater. Also, this is the sweater I got from Old Navy. The quality of it is so good. The one from Banana Republic is all pilled, but this one, because I think it was around 50% cotton, it hasn't pilled, so I'm super happy with that. It's a Spanish tortilla. So it's just onion, thin layers of potato, and then an egg. And then I've got my blondie bacon away in there. So the rug came, um, I was in the middle of a webinar, I had a co-work on the phone, I was cooking lunch, and then it arrived. Um, but Chris passed out on the sofa, you know how small our sofa is, so he's like curled up on a little ball um, on the sofa, so I can't unroll it, but hopefully in a bit I'll be able to. Just unrolled it a little bit while I was 
on the phone. So the interesting thing about the, Mar the Rosemary rugs is that depending on the angle, they are different colors. So this is the darker direction, but this side is the lighter direction. So I am going to lay it out like this so that the lighter direction is what you would normally see when you're standing looking at the messy living room. So later on after work, I will definitely roll that out. I can't wait. And then of course this one will go into the messy dining room. I'm gonna try and superwoman it up and switch these rugs on my own because Chris is sleeping, but um, you can see the two together, which looks so pretty. They match really well. Um, so I'm gonna try and move this one into the dining room and then the other one underneath. So wish me luck. I might have to wait though. Let's let's see what happens. So the new rug is in place. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it this way or spin it so that the darker way shows. I just feel like this is a drastic difference, um, but I did realize that I think I want to spin this rug because this rug is darker going this direction. So I think I want to see that from the other room. Lily's driving me insane. Stop eating plastic. Anyways, I think it looks great. Um, I'm just trying to hold down the edges because they're rolling out, which is super annoying. Um, but it looks great and I can't wait for the curtains to be here. It's all gonna come together so nicely. So I wanted to show you the rug in daylight. So this is the light direction, but if we look the other direction, it is quite a bit darker. And then this is just some swatches so I could show you the colors that we've got going on. So this is the tops, the Ottomans. The Ottomans are just holding down the edge right now, so I've got their tops off. And then the pillow cover, I've got two of those. They're just from Ikea, but I really love the sagey green color and how it pulls that out from the rug. Then we've got the swatches. So this is a swatch that will be for our drapery. And then this is the material that I already have. This is what is being used for the pillow cover and then Lily's bed. But I thought I would just quickly show you that. And I still have to spin this rug around. So hopefully later today, I'll get the opportunity to do that. This week has been a busy work week, not in the sense of vlogging, but like actual work. Plus I said, I've been doing my internship and there was quite a different, quite a bunch of different tasks that popped up this week that kept me busy. Um, I'm hopefully helping a friend with her living room, which will be cool. Um, mostly just helping with a floor plan and then potentially my dad, cause he does want to do built-ins and he has to do his before he can help me with mine. So. Um, I've got to help with that. So it has felt pretty busy, but I also, I always find January to be a rough month. I think I just always lack motivation and I just find, I think it's from, I love Christmas so much. So coming down off of Christmas is just a low, but also just feel like nothing is happening. So hoping February. It's gonna be a better month. I'm trying to push myself to just start projects and get them done. So 
I'm going to do a big Home Depot order for pickup this week. Uh, I've been working on it kind of throughout the week, but I think I just need to get it done and hope that Chris can help me go pick it up because um, he's been driving to work lately because where he's working right now, you need to drive, but soon he'll be hopefully back to walking. But in any case, hopefully he'll be home with the, heart, the car to help me. But I did want to show you the few things that I'm thinking of doing. So I've talked about this before. I think I want to do the molding, the picture frame molding that is like out here. This molding that's on the edges, you see that there? So I really want to carry that through a lot of the house. So I've been thinking potentially in the front. I'm more nervous about that because I don't know if I can just do it and not carry it up the stairs. Like maybe I could use that as a cutoff point. I'm not sure. But what I'm for sure going to do is the living room. So I'm gonna put probably two sections of picture frame molding here, carry it all the way around, do little smaller sections above the doors, and then also do it around the fireplace because I really don't think that built-ins are gonna happen for quite a while right now. I think it's just gonna be the mantle that is hopefully on the horizon for the next month or two. So I wanna do the picture frame molding all in this room. Um, potentially, in here, there's not really a lot of space to put it, but I think it just makes sense to carry it through. All in here. So that is definitely going to be in my order. And I'm hoping to borrow a saw from my dad and a nailer because when I did it in the front area, it was so much smaller. I just used a miter box and handsaw and glue, but I'm thinking for this, I'm gonna nail it so it's easier to take off if in the future I ever decided to do that, because I think it would be a big pain to take it off if I glued it all. The other project that I think I'm gonna order for is for an Ikea hack. So I'm gonna order that, that will be pretty cool. I don't think it'll take too long to do, um, but it's gonna be a good one. And the third thing is I need a shelf in my shower. And I was talking to Tiffany, my friend, uh, Tiffany Lee Design, about shower solutions and how I would really love to just have a simple marble shelf because I can't have a niche um, and I can't really do anything else. I want it to look like it wasn't an afterthought. And I think if I put a marble shelf, it'll look nice. So she said she did this with another company before. She sent me the links. So. I think that that might work. My dad's a little skeptical of it, I think, but I think it could work. So I'm hopefully gonna order those things from Home Depot so I can show you that as well. So hopefully I'm just gonna get my button gear, get all these projects going and just stop waiting to hear back from contractor, engineer and all that. I did contact the engineer last week. He got back to me on Friday saying he'll have something for me this coming week so we can hope for that. And then we can make decisions about everything else once the engineer and the contractor talk. But I'm hoping that all of these things are just going to get moving, but I need to just keep myself going on different things. So I think once all that picture frame molding is done, hopefully the curtains will also get done. I'm hoping this week, I'm hoping that the, the stuff I need, the drapery tape will come this week. So the drapes will be done. The picture frame molding will be done. Then we can focus on the sectional. So I'm hoping to just get my button gear, get all this done, hopefully to keep it more exciting for you guys and also keep me motivated and continuing on house projects. I've been putting off ordering a chandelier. I know I talked about on Instagram stories about the different designs I was considering, but the reason I've put it off so much is when we put in this bookcase, it meant that the medallion on the ceiling was no longer centered in the room the same, so the table is not directly below. So let me just pop this out a bit. So you can see it's not completely centered. So do I just live with it off-centered or do I kind of buy one that has a chain so you can swing it over a little bit? My dad's already worried that anything too heavy won't be good for in here. So that's another thing I've been putting off, but again, once the drapery's in here and I guess the picture frame molding, then I can make a decision about the chandelier and potentially the chairs. The chairs are actually fine for now, 
they're working, they're doing their job, and maybe it'll be a summer project I take on if I'm going to try and refinish them or whatever I decide to do. I realized that I never told you how the blondies turned out because they were so good that I've pretty much eaten all of them by this point, but I'm actually just about to wrap the vlog up. Um, this one's going to be late because we went out for a walk and we did other things and I just didn't get this done in time, unfortunately. And then I remembered that I wanted to tell you that those are really yummy. So I'm gonna wrap the vlog up, import this last clip and go have a cup of tea and my blondies. So if you like that sort of thing, they're kind of like a mix between a brownie and cookie and very cinnamon sugary. So super yummy, gonna go enjoy those. And I hope you have a great week and don't forget that I will be back on Wednesday with a design-based video rather than a vlog. Um, so you have that to look forward to and come back for. And don't forget, if you are new here or you haven't subscribed yet, I would really appreciate if you did hit the little subscribe button. Have a great week, guys.